G'day viewers, welcome to this week's PB's Retro Restorations. This week I'm doing this Tomy Tomica Hino SO fuel tanker for my friends Renee, Gerard and Baby Raff. Uh, they asked me to do this one for them a little while ago, so sorry it took so long to get to it. But in a happy coincidence it also fits in with the DMC's More Than 4 challenge, which I assume means more than four wheels. I hope that's what it means. That's what I've done. So as you can see, this one looks rough as guts, but it is 100% intact. None of the plastic pieces are broken off of it. It's all here. So let's get crack a lack and see if we can't turn this one back into a diamond uh, that's worthy of sitting on Gerard's shelf. As I mentioned before, this one is in... At first glance, you think, oh, it's probably something busted off it, but there's not. All the little plastic uh, bumperettes and all that stuff are still on there. The mudguards haven't been snapped off, and I've seen a few of these that have all those issues. The cab tilts forward, but not very far, but I think that's a design flaw rather than an issue with the cab. Anyway, I'll work out how to get that off and get it apart and um, keep moving along. wheels are all in tip-top shape here, they're only going to need a repaint and a re-chrome, they're not chewed out or anything, so no replacements required. The tank part slips off the base, which is pretty cool, and it's also held together with a screw, two clamshell halves. Obviously it's two halves or it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be two halves, would it It'd be one hole? Idiot. Anyway. So you know it's not a true PB build unless it's touched by tragedy, so I'm having a look at how to get the front cab off. And one of these sides is actually a little brass plug that pops, you can pop out. So I tried popping it out, couldn't quite get it out, but I did manage to snap the hard fixed pin on the other side off, like an idiot. So that means we're going to have a little bit of a delay while I repair that. Uh, I don't do myself any favours some days, viewers. Well, this will be easier, just remove this screw and the two halves will pull apart. Right. Uh, well, what's the, it's some, oh, that's right, the stickers. The stickers are still holding it, so I tried to peel them off so I could make, you know, copies of them. But they just tore and, as you'd imagine, you know, 40-year-old decals would. Uh, so I'll make some more. I'm going to show you how I do it this time. So it's your weekly opportunity to watch me try and slice my fingers off. Once again, I danced with death and lived to dance another day, I guess. I'll do it one day though, and you'll be the first to know, viewers. So as you can see here, I started doing this one when I did the Tomica Skyline. Uh, and life gets in the way sometimes, but anyway. I haven't got a sound effect for paint bubbling off. Blub, 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 blub. There you go. That's my electric toothbrush sound effect. It's completely different from the Dremel sound effect. You'll find out in the next shot. See, completely different. White paint can be a mongrel, viewers. I did this once with some Tamiya Rattle Pack, which I knew in my heart wasn't going to work and I'd have to redo it again anyway, so I did end up respraying it again with some Tamiya Acrylic through my airbrush and had a much better result. I even clear coated it, even though it was a tiny little cab, because professionalism is my middle name. All right, time to fix my uh, mistake of the broken post. Just gonna drill it out with the two mil drill bit I use for tapping. And just drill a hole, and then I think I'm gonna get a nail. And Well, I well not think, I know what I'm gonna do. Got a nail, gonna grind the little point off of it, and then I'm gonna stick it in the hole, and then I'm gonna cut it off. Let's see where this gets me. Mm -hmm. 
tap, 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 tap. So I'm banging it in there. There's no way it's going to come out now. No way at all, viewers. So anyway, I'll start cutting it. And this is why you always wear goggles, viewers. Always wear goggles. Uh, anyway, so I went back to the drawing board. I decided I'd glue it in there and cut a smaller bit off. And the next time I cut it, I used my jeweler saw. So I figured it might be a little bit safer. glass was really good in this it uh, just needs a really good clean and a light sand and a polish and a bathe in the magic milk So I would have just cleaned up the base with the wire wheel, but after I did that repair to it with the glue and everything, I thought, no, I'll, I'll black base coat it, then Molotow chrome it, and it's probably an unrealistic finish, but it looks really good. So I gave both halves, you know, again, the two halves of the one hole, a good clean. They had that red pen mark all over them and I tried getting it off with other methods and I couldn't so I thought okay well I'll just primer coat them and then re-spray them white but red paint it still showed through the primer in place and it still showed through the white and I had to give it a few coats in the end but and I think I could still see it if you look hard enough but anyway what are you going to do? Completely strip the chrome off the little grill and we're going to re-chrome that like I did the base. I lost count, but I think this is respray 357,000. Try and get rid of that red, and you can still see it, like I said before. Anyway, what? Well, I know it's there, maybe I can see it easier, but anyway. Okay, so this is sped up frightfully, but you'll get the gist. So I took the picture to get an idea of 
how long the stripe should be on the side, uh, measured it, filled it, and drew a replacement in Paint 3D, lined it up, uh, then used um, the droplet tool to get one of the, the red pigmentation, just the right color. Uh, and then I just jumped onto Google. Google searched the SO logo, which wasn't very hard. They're everywhere. Shrunk it to size, stuck it in there. And once I'd cropped and made an individual image of the stripe, I paste it into Word. I get my vernier calipers out and I measure the length based on an image of the truck. Try and get a rough idea. I don't think you'll ever get it exactly perfect. And then I do a test print. Once I know that's right, I print it out onto the special decal film that I get from Dr. Deckel and Mr. Hyde. Uh, excellent service, quality product. Not sponsored by them. I just I really like it. I've tried cheap stuff off eBay and it's crap. Um, anyway. So I blue tack them down to a bit of cardboard, get me white knight clear varnish and just spray it over. Um, I go pretty heavy on here, probably heavier than I should, but I'll leave them dry overnight. It says like two to three hours, but you know, yay, thumbs up me. Um, should leave them overnight. Now it's time for applying. Once you've done that, these just go on like any other water slide decals. Um, you know, cut them to shape, put them in the water. Um, slide them on. After they dried, I gave them a clear coat in semi-gloss clear. I'm not sure why I chose semi-gloss. I think I thought it'd give a more realistic sort of plastic look to it. And I guess it did. Uh, and a bit of contrast to all the everything else shiny on the truck. Yeah, it's reassembly time. The white knuckle real ride that it is. Uh, yeah, I tried, yeah, I remembered how to put it back together. It all went went pretty good until I got to the cab. Ha 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 ha. We'll get to that. So there's no better time to stop and think about what way is the right way up that the grill's supposed to go in than after you've already put the glue on it and half put it in there. And that's when I had my first thought like, oh, is that right? Or was it the other way? And um, I did look it up. I have, I, I, yeah, well, yes, it's in the right way. I'm pretty sure. So I laid a bit of glue on to put the stopper, like the little brass stopper cap in that holds the top on. Uh, but I don't think, I think I got too much goos in the hole or something and I had to drill it out to make it a bit bigger. It didn't look right the first time so after I got in there and the glue had started setting of course that's when I decided I need to pull it back out and do a better job of it, which I did and it came out okay. 
in the end, eventually. There we go. That's better. A little bit of a push in there with the... I think I chipped the paint, but anyway. That's looking much better now. And because I can't help myself, I did the taillights, even though they weren't done on the original. Just thought it would look neat. And just like that, as if by magic, with no effort whatsoever, we're done. So back at the start with Gerard's well-loved Tomica Hino SO tanker truck with its special red custom paint that I'm sure you're very proud of once upon a time, or you might have got it like this, I don't know. But we have the technology. And speaking of technology and outcomes, this is what we started with, and this is what we're left with now. Ta-da! Looking a million bucks again, and with the cost of petrol, especially around here at the moment, it's probably worth a million bucks as well if it was full of petrol. Anyway, so we basically we stripped it down, new paint, new decals, re-chromed, fixed some things that didn't need fixing before I got my hands on it, and uh, came out all right in the end. I'm pretty pleased with this one, viewers. I hope you've enjoyed this one, Gerard. I hope you're pleased with it as well, and I will have it in the mail to you sometime soon. I promise. So thanks for coming down to my little corner of the internet today viewers, I really appreciate it. If you've liked what you've seen here, why not check out one of these other videos? And if you feel it's worthy, give it a like, a share, and if you're really brave and want to subscribe, just click on my bald nut in the middle of the screen there. I sure would appreciate it, and you will be swept away to a world of PB magic every Friday at 9.15, sometimes every second Friday, depends on how busy I am, but I always try. Have a great weekend, stay safe, and I'll see you next week. Bye!